ambassador from uh, Winter Haven tonight. I live in Winter Haven. I'm a lawyer, and uh, my presentation is called Defending Ugly. <laughs> In a certain sort of way. It wasn't cute when we were walking around the corner and having fun. I should be. I'm very good. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I'm a lawyer, I think about everything in this way. Ugliness is under attack in America today. We spend lots of time and money turning the spaces that we live and work into beautiful spaces. Even here in Lakeland, at the risk of offending at least three or four people in this room, the lowly bicycle rack. <laughs> what are we thinking? Is there a place where we can ignore aesthetics? Where we can focus on simplicity and fun and ease and not have to make it look good to show off for somebody else? A couple of years ago, I decided to try something. To build a boat in my garage. This is not my boat. <laughs> Notice the fine gloss finish, the sleek lines, the perfect colors. It's even sitting on a pad so the bottom doesn't get scratched. No, I wanted a boat that I could drag up on the beach and not have to worry about what it looked like. <laughs> this is my boat. Slightly off kilter. Note the plastic tarp sail and the unfinished, unpainted wooden rigging on this boat. But I guess I should probably go back to the beginning a little bit and talk about how it started. A lot of reading. This amazing little book is out of print. Um, it was a library sale. Um, uh, book. Ooh, go library. It goes through uh, probably you know a hundred or more really um, small boat rigs and just how they work, and just the different types. You'd be amazed at the wide variety of sails you can put on a little boat. I chose a sprit sail um, rig for my boat. It has several advantages that make it very nice to have. That diagonal bar there is called the sprit. It holds the peak of the sail way up in the air, so the mast on the side can be a lot shorter, and doesn't require stays to hold it up. That's the finished product for the sail to show you the rigging um, the sprit again is, is held holding this, the, um, the peak of the sail up, and if you notice in the top right hand corner there's a little um, bit of tape there. That's called a dart. Uh, you see a sail is not a flat piece of cloth. A sail has to have a shape to it because it acts like an airplane wing. This is what the wind sees when it hits the sail. It goes against the mast and then curves around it and creates lift. In this case, the, it's turned around backwards, but the, the wind would be pulling the sail in that direction because it would create lift on that side of the sail as it goes around it. This is another view from underneath where you can see the shape of the sail. Now, mine's just a little bit too baggy, uh, but it works just fine. Um, and you can see the dwarfs there. This also shows you the boom on the bottom, which again, unpainted fair wood. I haven't quite figured out exactly how I want that to look, so I just kind of put something up quick and dirty. Uh, to make it look good. A neighbor helped me with the mast, he has a planer. Um, one of the cool things about a, a, a sprit sail is you get to use one of the coolest names for a rope ever. This rope on the sail is called a snotter. <laughs> and, uh, the purpose of this is to, a snotter. The purpose of this is to pull that sprit tight so that the sail has a nice, uh, tight lay to it. This is the rudder. It's built entirely of plywood. Uh, the hardware that connects it to the boat is one of the few parts of this that I purchased, you know, designed for the purpose for which I used it. Um, a rudder on a sailboat like this has to be able to take your boat into shallow water and still steer it, uh, so it has a nice little feature uh, provided by that bungee cord that it keeps on. Um, that's any sailboat, any small boat, you'll see that, but it's kind of fun when you built it that way. Um, and it's pretty neat. The rope going over the tiller, which is a curtain rod from Home Depot, um, is, uh, is a traveler that lets the, the boom sit on the different side of the sail, depending on which side of the boom is coming from. Uh, this is the, um, the dagger board. Uh, it's called a keel when it's fixed and attached to the boat, but when it's a small boat and it just slides through the bottom, it's called a dagger board. This is one of the most important parts of the boat. Like the sail, it's built like an airplane wing. It has a curved but fairly sharp front end with a taper to a point back end, it's scraped up from going in and out, and it slides down into that dagger board case in the center there. The placement of that board is crucial for the balance of the boat. It has to be just right so that the steering will be smooth and so the boat will not move sideways through the water. 
and it took quite a bit of figuring to figure out exactly where to put it. Now, I did, I did kind of design the sail. I did not design the boat. I bought a kit, um, excuse me, plans from the internet, like 30 bucks or something, PDF, downloaded them, go by the Clyde Little Home Depot to do it. You could do this. Um, this, <laughs> this was the hardest part. That piece of wood in the front is called the stem, and the angles on that stem had to be just right. It's a two by six, and I just used a circular saw to cut it at the angles. You can see the horrible paint job on the side is actually the epoxy that's causing that rippling. Epoxy is very hard to work with the first time, trust me, but it works just fine. <laughs> this is uh, racing to keep the front of the boat from wiggling back and forth as the wind comes at it from different sides. I didn't realize I needed that until after I got it in the water. <laughs> now, I told you about the, uh, the mast being short. That's really important because on a boat like this, you can store the mast in the boat. You see big sailboats and the mast is like way longer than the boat is. But with a sprit sail, you can store the mast in the boat, which is extremely important. If you're going to do what I did, which is transport the boat on <laughs> So this is, the neighborhood kids love this. Whenever I take it to the lake, one or two kids say, Mom, Mom, come out here and look at this. This is awesome. Um, I've invited some of them to go for a ride, and they get scared. I don't know. And yes, should say this. Um, so ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I'd like for you to retire. And consider for a moment, when you're in the jury room, if there's a place in our world for ignoring aesthetics, for not worrying about how the finished product looks, for not worrying about whether it's perfect, for not worrying about whether the finish is great, or whether anybody's going to come look at it with a fine tooth comb, and just worrying about have fun, keep it cheap, keep it exciting, keeping it real, and taking your daughter sailing. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.